I got a question. Is banana and coral glow the same thing? Alrighty guys, what is up? It is me, Cast and Cast Critters here, and today we're going to be discussing the banana slash coral glow gene. And yes, I said gene. Let's get into that. The reason why I say gene and not genes is because, well, in my opinion, coral glow and banana are the same gene, just the same way that butter and lesser are the same gene. They are literally the same thing, they just come from different bloodlines, so it would be similar to a locality of banana in a weird, kind of twisted way. Um, they were pretty much imported at a similar time and named without realizing that, hey, this is the same gene. So we just think of it as two different bloodlines, but the reason that I say it is the same gene is because they both have one similarity besides coloration and pattern and stuff. They have one similarity, and that is the fact that they are a sex-linked trait, so yeah. Now, the only reason that that is important is because banana is the only sex-linked trait in ball pythons. So, the fact that two would come out that look identical and do the exact same things, it's just kind of silly to me, don't you think? But, besides that, Let's get further into the video. In case you haven't been able to guess already, we are going to be talking about the banana slash coral glow gene. Um, it's personally one of my favorite genes. I absolutely love it. I adore it. I think it's one of the prettiest things ever. But we are going to be going a little bit into this. We're not going to really go in depth because there is definitely better people out there talking about it. There's a better video that I will link in the description that helped me a lot. It helped me learn, so I will leave that below. But we're going to be going a little bit into it, and more so my opinions on it and what I think about it. So, let's do that. Alrighty guys, in case you don't know, uh, TGH and I made it official, and we moved all of his collection over here. So, with that came a lot of really sweet ball python jeans. This one is a Coral Glow Champagne Pinstripe Male. He is the cutest little dude. He is super cool. His name is Mr. Bubbles. And... Yeah. I wish it would focus better. But this is Mr. Bubbles. And like I just said, he is a Coral Glow Champagne Pinstripe. And he is a really, really pretty snake. Um, when the Coral Glow slash Banana gene first arose, it started at about $25,000. That quickly rose to $50,000 for just a male banana slash Coral Glow, and it quickly dropped back down to 25000 and now, in present day 2019, you can get a Coral Glow slash Banana for between 150 to 300 typically is what I see, but please let me know what the prices are for these snakes in your area, just single gene. I'm curious. I like seeing the different price ranges, so please leave that below. But this is Mr. Bubbles. Okay, I think this is a little better. Um, but this is a Coral Glow Pastel Spider Pinstripe. This is a very, very beautiful boy that I very much love. He is definitely one of my favorites in our collection. And the reason that the banana gene is so controversial, or it's a hot topic at the moment, is because it is the only confirmed sex link trait in ball pythons, which is super, super cool, considering, I mean, yeah. It's just a cool thing and adds a lot of interest to breeding ball pythons. Besides, you know, the actual interest of breeding. This snake is such a beautiful, beautiful boy. And notice I keep saying boys, all the banana slash coral glows that we have are males because that's pretty much what all banana slash coral glows are. It is very uncommon to get a female and females are a lot more expensive than males because of just the desirability. Look at how handsome he is, though. He is such a pretty boy. Hey guys, so this is what I mean when I say banana is a very desirable trait. This is just a banana yellow belly. And just look at how gorgeous this snake is. He is incredible. And I can totally see why there's such a high demand for these animals and why the original price tag was so expensive because these snakes are just 
absolutely stunning. This is, like I said, a banana yellow belly, and this is one of Ed's favorites. So I need to be super mindful when handling him, but still, he is incredible, and he is an awesome, awesome ambassador for his gene, because holy crap, this speckling is something that personally is super desirable to me in bananas, and he is just perfect. So, yeah. You saw three examples in this video of what the banana slash coral glow gene can do, and like I said, it's a very incredible gene. It's a very, very powerful gene. It tends to dominate over anything else, it seems. So, yeah, but it does amazing things, and I can totally see why it is so, so desirable and why it's a hot topic, because just come on. Look at this snake. He is beautiful. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm sorry I was so short, and I'm sorry I'm so stuttery today. It's... I don't even know. But, um, I'm gonna link a video in the description that you should all go check out if you haven't already, because it goes way more into depth and way more into the biology and genetics aspect of it and actual stuff like that. Way more than I can explain right now. Um, I don't think really anybody's going to sit through a half hour for me just talking about genetics and biology, to be honest. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and tag, or not tag, but uh, link something way more credible than my word. And I can't wait to see what you guys have to say about these guys, because these guys are incredible, and I'm so in love with them, especially this one. Um, so yeah, if you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.